Hi, I'm Stella. Welcome to Speed Facts. Today we will take a look at our eight-legged friends, the spider. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment below if you like this video. Get ready, because the timer starts now. It was thought that all spiders were carnivorous, capturing and eating other insects, but one species in Central America has been found to be mostly vegetarian. Most spiders have eight eyes, but some, like the brown recluse spider, only have six. Even with all of those eyes, spiders cannot see far into the distance. A jumping spider can jump 50 times their own length. The daddy long legs you see might not actually be a spider. The nickname daddy long legs has been given to several different pests, only one of which is an actual spider. Crane flies, harvest men and cellar spiders are all colloquially identified as daddy long legs. While commonly lumped together with insects, spiders are arachnids, not insects. Certain species of saltacids or jumping spiders can see into spectrums we humans cannot, including UVA and UVB light. New World tarantulas are capable of flinging off tiny irritating hairs to deter potential predators, similar to a porcupine using its quills as a defense. While most spiders are solitary animals, there are some that form communities building large communal cobwebs. Colonies can number in the thousands of individuals, and they will work together to incapacitate prey trapped in their webs and share the harvest with each other. For its weight, spiderweb silk is actually stronger and tougher than steel. There are over 100 species of spiders that mimic ants by having evolved similar appearances and even similar pheromones. Most do it to evade predators, but a few do it to help them prey on ants. During the 16th and 17th centuries it was believed that a bite from a species of wolf spider, named tarantula, found in the Taranto region of Italy, would be fatal unless the victim engaged in frenzied dancing to a specific piece of music. It inspired a dance locally known as the tarantella. A cobweb is technically an abandoned spiderweb. All types of spiders have eight legs and spin silk. Spider silk comes out as a liquid but hardens when it comes into contact with the air. The tiniest spider is Padamarplesi, which is so small that 10 can fit on the end of a pencil. The biggest species of spider is the Goliath bird eater, which can be up to 11 inches wide. Spiders have pale blue blood because oxygen is carried by hemocyanin in their blood, which contains copper, unlike the hemoglobin found in humans that gets its red color due to using iron. Trapdoor spiders have been called living fossils due to their similarity to spiders from more than 300 million years ago. Whether a spider can run up walls depends entirely upon their feet. For example, garden spiders have legs that end in claws so they can't grip a wall. But how spiders can? This is because their feet are covered in tiny hairs that can hold onto a surface as long as it isn't too slick like a bathtub. Spiders lack teeth so they can't chew food. They inject digestive juices into their captured prey and then suck up the liquefied creature. Wolf spiders are super fast, running at speeds of up to 2 feet per second. And there's the bell. I really hope you enjoyed learning about spiders as much as I enjoyed finding all of these facts for you. Make sure you subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.